Hey, United States of America, it's Matt Scootcroft. And every February, there is a holiday that occurs, President's Day. Now, we get school off for it, but it's much more important than that because I said so. We've all decided that a fun way to celebrate President's Day would be to have all the presidents fight each other. However, since most of them are dead and they all live through different time periods, we cannot have that happen. So we will be asking the students of North which president they think would win in a fight. What we're going to do is have a bracket. The bracket will start out with eight presidents, and each time a president wins a round, or a fight, they move up. Let's begin. William Howard Taft versus Ulysses S. Grant. Um, I think Taft would win in a fight because he's fatter, and he was served as both the U.S. Chief Justice. George Washington versus Abraham Lincoln. I think Washington would win because he was in the war and he was a general and all that stuff and he fought and Lincoln was scrawny and he got assassinated. So. I think Abraham Lincoln would win in a fight because he has more modern technology and so he can just like bring out some guns and be like pew 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 and then totally like kick George Washington's butt. Oh, Lincoln would be Washington in a fight because he's a vampire slayer. Dude, like Lincoln, he, he slays vampires like every single day of his life and then he died. Dwight Eisenhower versus Teddy Roosevelt. I think Eisenhower would, uh, mostly because of his, his strong eyebrows. I think Teddy Roosevelt would win because he has a very strong looking name and um, he's a president and the other guy isn't a president. I feel like Roosevelt would. I don't really have any reason, but he seems like a good guy and I trust him. Ronald Reagan versus Andrew Jackson. Definitely Jackson because he like challenged people to fights in like the White House lawn and like tried to like stab people and threw some pretty wild ragers. I just feel like he's definitely more hardcore than uh, the other one, Reagan. William Howard Taft versus Abraham Lincoln. I think Taft, because I think Taft would just sit on him and he'd win. Teddy Roosevelt versus Andrew Jackson. Well, I was, should I say Teddy Roosevelt? Teddy Roosevelt would beat Jackson because he was literally shot and took the bullet out and threw it back at the guy. For the final round, we'll have you, the people, decide. If you're not on your cellular device already, Get on it and go to the BVN Broadcast YouTube channel. There you will find the video, Presidential Fights. In the description of that video, there will be a poll. Go to the poll and vote for who you think will win. I'm Matt Scowcroft and have a great President's Day, BVN. Will this be on the North Report? Maybe. Oh god. I love it. My full name is Julie Colleen Long. I'm a senior. I ran cross country, <clears throat> I play basketball, and softball. I have like five birthmarks. I have one like right here, one right here, one under my belly button, one on my thigh, and then one on like this inner thigh. My brother has a Florida Georgia Line tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us an interesting story about yourself. Um, I have many. One time, when I was like seven years old or so, my brother Jackie and I were climbing a tree in our front yard. And all my cousins were in the backyard jumping on our trampoline, so it was just me and Jackie. And so anyway, I was climbing, climbing up this tree and I like fell, and I was wearing a skirt. And I fell, and like, if I would've like fallen, I would've like broken my neck, because that was pretty high up. And, but anyways, I didn't fall. The branch ended up catching my underwear and I hung there. <laughs> and so Jackie jumped off the tree and he yelled to my cousins, like, Julie hung herself. And they all thought, you know, like I was like, I was dying. And so they all ran around the corner. And when they got around the corner, they all just started laughing at me instead of helping me. And yeah, that was the story of when I, 
find myself on a tree with my underwear. What I'm making today is a cool smoothie. It includes dates, almonds, muscle milk, bananas, and regular milk. And I will be making a berry smoothie. It will have strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, bananas, all the berries. Three, two, one, go. There is no way that loser Luca is beating me today. I have trained many years for this and have prepared so much. I think I'm going to win this competition because I'm just by far better than everyone. I mean, I, I don't know how to put it. Like, I'm just the best. And Anna's just not. <laughs> Boy, if you don't get... Each other. No, should um, That looks disgusting. And also, I need some more coke. I need you look disgusting! <laughs> Alright, that's enough popcorn. No. Shit. Straight from Anna's pantry. Boy, if you don't get trying today is the one that Luca made. Mmm. Delicious. Delicious. 10 out of 10 out of 100. 10, 10 out of 100. 10. All right, now next. Now let's try the Anna's. Ah. Also, we're gonna end All right, this yeah, we gotta go. We're, bye. We gotta go, bye. I love what y'all do. You guys are official. I love working with you. But there was just one, one thing that was wrong. You guys, I think, believe it was talk with Mike and friends or come ask Mike. And something like that. Some weird Mike. Who is? Who's who? Oh, okay. okay. See, I, okay. First of all, first of all, his name's Jeffrey. It's Jeffrey. His name's Jeffrey. It's just, just Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Okay. Just it's just Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Okay. Jeffrey. It can be Jeffrey. It can be Jeff and friends. But I just want y'all to know who the friends are. They're, the friends are really family. <clears throat> All right, so what is something that is really popular now, but in five years, everyone will look back and be embarrassed by? Eating them Tide Pods and whatnot? Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's 
Sasha gonna take this horse. Jeez. That's crazy. Right. That's crazy. Eating them Tide Pods going on. You know, uh, I'll take that one. What's the brand? Uh, Tide, actually. Mm -hmm. Tide is discontinuing the Tide Pods because everybody want to eat on them. Mm -hmm. February 1st, there's no more Tide Pods. Wow. They're all gone because everybody want to act childish. Now I can't do my laundry. That's not what I have in my house. The cheapest way to get your laundry done right there, too. Tide Pods. Now they're all gone. How am I going to do my laundry? Get it, get it. Them dang on, come on, you know what they're called. Five years? Fifty years? Cigarettes? Oh. Cigarettes. Yeah, get you. No, the jewel the jewels, the jewels. Woo! Oh, oh, five years, those are going to be laid out. Oh, exactly. Oh, exactly. Oh, exactly. Oh, exactly. So they just said a new one came out. The dang on Soren X? <laughs> this one will kill you even faster. Try, try this one here, guys. That's lung cancer. There, 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 here. Everywhere. Five years ago, we played out. What's the weirdest thing you've seen in someone else's house? Nah, 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 nah. I used to talk to this girl. Like, like, uh, okay, okay, but like, she had like, 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 the weird way. That just don't make no sense to me. It don't, yeah, that's not even weird. That's yeah. just annoying. <laughs> I'm just thinking of cats beating that. I didn't say something. Cat? I'm going to the cat. <laughs> All right. So what are some things that are okay to do occasionally, but definitely not okay to do every day? Mm. Pick your nose. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody does it. When I'm at the crib, hey, if it ain't nobody here. Nah, get it real no, quick no, and check no, the mirror no, bit. Okay. But you definitely can't do it just all the time. Picking your nose? You can you can literally go a whole lifetime without picking your nose. You can't. You can't do that. Your nose will be dirty. Blow it. 